this point, I've barely even balanced a dirt bike, but already it's expanding my horizons and taking me to a new part of the state, Hurricane Mills. Located about 70 miles west of Nashville, right in the center of Loretta Lynn's ranch. Back in 1966, Loretta Lynn and her husband Mooney bought this beautiful piece of property complete with the entire town of Hurricane Mills. This is where they raised their family, and they proudly state that this ranch is much more than just a tourist destination. It's home. And since 1974, they've opened their home and all of its 6,500 acres to the entire world giving devoted fans and weary travelers alike a chance to feel like part of the family. Today, Loretta Lynn's Ranch is one of the most visited attractions in Tennessee. In addition to the many historical buildings and museums here that chronicle Loretta Lynn's life and career, they also have a wide range of activities year round, including concerts, rodeos, camping, canoeing, kayaking, horseback riding, and fishing. But right now, Hurricane Mills is not only the center of Loretta Lynn's ranch, but also the center of the Middle Tennessee Dirt Riders Spring Ride, a family-oriented group connected by the shared love of one common interest, dirt bike riding. I was a little nervous at first when I saw just how many people were here. It's pretty intimidating seeing hundreds of bikes buzzing around when you barely even know how to start one. It's one thing to ride in circles in an open field, but it's something very different to ride a narrow trail through the woods. So before I hit the trail, I wanted one more training session to make sure I was ready to ride. So this is only my second time on a motorcycle. I'm a little anxious, I'll be honest, you know, and, and I mean, this is something that I've wanted to do and I just haven't, I've never really done it. I've just kind of been a little scared or, you know, I've not had the opportunity to get on a bike. So. I want to start kind of at the very beginning. You know, I want you to just kind of walk me through and disarm me on, on hey, that this is something so that scary. I can do. Yeah, not so scared. Nothing to be scared of. The biggest thing that people get scared about is their uh, inability to control it. So if you don't know, have knowledge of the controls, now you panic. And when you panic, that's when bad things happen no matter what you do. And the biggest thing that I always preach with a motorcycle, everything has got to be smooth. Like, you don't want to make any jerky motions. Throttle, no jerky motions. Brake, no jerky motions. Everything's got to be smooth and fluid. For, for somebody that's done it their whole lives, everything is, it's part of natural muscle memory, just like riding a, a bicycle. Mm -hmm. But when you first start off, you got front and rear brakes, clutch, throttle, you know, waiting, turning, vision. I mean, there's, there's a lot so to much. think about. Yeah, so that's where when we first start, it's always good to start with just the very basic stuff. Let's work on, you know, two things at a time, let's say. Let's work on, let's work on braking and balance. Once we get braking and balance, then we start working on, you know, throttle control. We have a lot of first-time riders come out to our events. So I start to do, I do drills before we even start the motorcycle. And a lot of riders focus their balance in their chest. So they're, they're constantly moving the bars like this, where your balance is in your core and your hips. Okay. So that, that keeps the bike stable. And then I'll do, make him, have them use the brakes. Well, a lot of the younger riders, they'll use the brakes, well, they don't, they forget to put their feet out. So they fall over. Mm. So we slowly build like that. You want to start slow and build up to build your confidence. That's what it's all about. Right. Yeah, because one little thing can shatter yeah, it, that. It, and then... It'd be like doing anything for the first time and, and jumping in head first and failing. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you fail, it throws your confidence off. What do you recommend someone do wanting to get on a bike for the first time? I would say the most important thing is, is getting with somebody that's knowledgeable, whether it be an instructor, a friend, you know, a family member that rides, because there's nothing worse for, you know, for any person, whether it be an adult or a child that starts riding, crashes, and they're scared of it, and they never do it again. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite mo moments of the weekend thus far is when uh, we were right beside a trail, and these four bikes come by, and it was little brother yep. leading the way, then Stare, little yeah. sister, then mom, and then dad, and they uh, just rolled by. You know, with my dad, I mean, that's what we started this whole deal with. You go out and there was no expectations, there wasn't any trophies, but then you come to a trail rides like this, that's, that's, what, that's why they're here. It's not because they want to race and be a professional, they just want to go out and enjoy the weekend as a family. Thankfully, I wasn't the only beginner here. And honestly, I can't think of a better place to learn how to ride. I was surrounded by experienced and knowledgeable riders who couldn't have been more encouraging. 
There were riding opportunities for all ages and skill levels. And MTDR does a great job making sure that everyone has a safe and enjoyable time. Once I hit the trail and realized it wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it was gonna be, I was finally able to relax and enjoy the ride. We've got close to a thousand riders here. A lot of those folks bring their family members with them, grandparents, uncles, aunts, daughters, mothers, uh, wives. A lot of those folks don't ride. They just, they look forward to the event every year and camping out with their friends. They'll all congregate in different areas and hang out together and campfires and all yeah. that and cook food together. And, and so it's, it's kind of like a vacation. It's in the it's air right now, you yeah, can smell it, you know. It's a vacation, you know. Been here. doing it for 14 years now, uh, MTDR has. We see the same people come back year after year after year. And a lot of the younger younger kids, it's so fun to, to see them out there on the kids trail. Three or four years later, they're out there riding with us yeah. on the big trail. A few years after that, they're passing us. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, what you uh, want, though, right? That, yeah, it's... Because uh, that's what you were saying yesterday. You're like, that's the future right there. Right, exactly. You know, exactly. The, little, those, the little guys riding around, you're like, that's little, the future right those there. Those little kids riding around out there, have a big grin on their face, that's what this is all about. Well, um, some of the little jokers around here, I mean, you think they can barely walk, and they're just flying I by think on the, these. I believe the youngest rider that we have is either two or three. Wow. So, yeah, everywhere from two all up to uh, 70 and everything in between. So why Loretta Lynn's Ranch? The, they have a motocross track down here, if you noticed. Right. And that's where they hold the AMA National Motocross. Okay, which well, that's a big deal, right? It's a huge deal. It's one of the most famous motocross tracks in the country. Really? Um, if anybody who's anyone in motocross has ridden down there on that track, that's your gateway to uh, the pros is to win down there as a, right a, in the Loretta Lynn's amateur, ranch. amateur nationals. And so you've got the best in the country everywhere from age five to 50 to 60 down there riding on that track every year. So the ranch is really set up really well to handle this type of event. They really cater to us a lot. Beyond the riding, the best part of the weekend was being part of this community, this family. These folks not only know how to balance their bikes, but know how to keep a healthy balance of adventure in their lives as well, all in a family atmosphere. After just a few miles on the trail and a couple of cold nights sharing campfires and cold beverages, I can definitely say that I've felt the thrill and seen the beauty of dirt biking.